This is bar none the best market I have ever been in. This is amazing. 30 days and 3,000 kilometers into our trip, we hit the capital of South Australia, the fantastic city of Adelaide. Not having been to a city since we left Perth, it's fair to say we're both very excited to get back into the hustle and bustle. Look everybody. Guys, we are in the city. Look, there's traffic. Actual cars and lights. It's brilliant. There's speed remember, cameras and everything. Now I remember why I hate cities. There's bloody traffic. But still, there's traffic. Traffic. Once we had calmed down, we got down to the serious business of exploring. We had four nights in this brilliant city, and this is the best of what we got up to. Welcome to Glenelg. It's about 15 kilometers, uh, just slightly south and to the west of central Adelaide. It's a lovely monument here. It reads, here at Holdfast Bay landed the pioneer settlers and Governor Hindmarsh announced the establishment of the government on December the 28th, 1836. So this, I guess, is where the first pioneers that settled what we would now call Adelaide landed. On the top floor of the Glenelg Town Hall, is a little museum which is a brilliant place to learn a bit about the history of Australia and the first European settlers to arrive in Adelaide. It's a model of the ship that brought the first settlers here, the HMS Buffalo. After a lovely walk around Glenelg, we went and checked into our Airbnb before heading back out for the night. Aussie rules round two, welcome to the Adelaide Oval. Tonight we've come to see the women play. Ten bucks a ticket. Absolute disaster. After a great night at the Aussie Rules, we had a good sleep before jumping on the train into town. Our first stop was the iconic Adelaide Central Market. This is bar none the best market I have ever been in. This is amazing. When you have finished at the market, make sure you head down to Chinatown next door and grab yourself a bubble tea. Downtown Adelaide is one square mile and the whole thing is completely ringed by parkland. Whilst much of it is just playing fields, you'll find some amazing gardens dotted around the outskirts of the city. Just uh, the other side of the South Terrace of Adelaide is this rose garden partnership between Adelaide and a city in China. And it's so pretty. Further along the south side of the CBD is the Himeji Gardens, a place oh, wow. of beauty and tranquillity. 
we particularly enjoyed seeing a couple of turtles swimming in the pond. <laughs> Welcome to the Adelaide Botanic Garden. But at the northeast corner of the CBD in Adelaide is the Adelaide Botanical Garden. Set across 50 hectares, the gardens are truly stunning. We spent several hours over two or three days wandering around and enjoying them. Have you ever seen leaves this big? It's like a marquee. We've walked 10,000 steps. Lauren, 12,000 because she has these little legs. I have little legs. And it's time for a recharge. So we've pulled out the picnic blanket and chilled out in this beautiful spot. They're all beautiful spots. In the Adelaide Botanical Garden. How and about that, Bishla? Two couples get married behind us, which is really <laughs> nice. Yeah, we've been to two weddings from, from, from a distance. <laughs> Have you ever seen several thousand fruit bats awake in the middle of the day, hanging from trees in every direction, flying around? We're just by the Adelaide Zoo. I don't know if they escaped. It's like something out of Jurassic Park. Look at this. What's the name of the bad guy from Stranger Things? Vecna. These, these are the bats that were protecting Vecna. <laughs> if you want to go shopping whilst you're in Adelaide, make sure to head down to the fully pedestrianised Rundle Street Mall. If you find yourself in Adelaide on a Sunday, Make sure you take a trip down to the Adelaide Farmers Market, which is held at the Adelaide Showground. So this is the centre of Adelaide. This is Victoria Square. There's a beautiful fountain on the south side. That's the Magistrates Court, that's the Supreme Court of Southern Australia. And then it looks like the business district is off over there. So you're looking north now, and that will take you up towards uh, the river, the zoo, the oval. To the north of the CBD is North Terrace, which hosts the Adelaide War Memorial as well as Adelaide's museums and galleries. Welcome to the State Library, South Australia. This beautiful old Art Deco star building. The State Library of South Australia is considered to be one of the most beautiful libraries anywhere in the world. You'll find a number of galleries dotted throughout and a great display on the ground floor explaining some of the key moments in the history of South Australia. The showstopper is the brilliantly presented top two floors filled with wonderful old books set beneath a stunning glass ceiling. Welcome to the South Australian Museum. This is important. This is a document called the Tyndale Map, and it shows how the more than 250 Aboriginal groups who were already in Australia at the time of settlements had divided up the land between them. You can see all the different tribes, the borders between them. The South Australian Museum is stuffed full of Aboriginal artefacts, along with exhibits covering the wildlife, rocks and minerals, and history of South Australia. It's amazing how much they pack into a few relatively small floors, and well worth a visit if you're in town. 
Just next door to the museum is the Art Gallery of South Australia. We spent an hour walking around the exhibits, and while there wasn't a clear theme linking them all together, we did enjoy each of their unique quirks. The son of the woman hosting our Airbnb mentioned that he's the general manager of a South Australian yoghurt manufacturer. He thought we were joking when we asked for a tour of the factory. Caramel crumble. We had a brilliant time and cannot recommend the yoghurt shop enough. They make dozens of delicious flavours and it's available throughout Australia and internationally. They are expanding and we cannot wait for them to be available in the UK. We're in North Adelaide and I think this must be the wealthy section of town. It's beautiful. Someone's got a casual dinosaur on their front row. Look at these houses. This is uh, St. Peter's Cathedral. It's said to have a Notre Dame-esque facade, which it does to be fair. On the edge of the Botanic Gardens is the National Wine Centre of Australia. It hosts one of the largest open wine cellars in the Southern Hemisphere and it has a small but well put together museum where you can educate yourself on all things wine, including the grape varieties, wine regions of Australia and the end to end process of wine production. Here on the east side is a strip of wonderful old buildings and nestled away inside, surrounded by some of the cutest little houses you'll ever see, are some great old vintage shops. And down here, Charlotte Circuit, you'll find some wonderful little food and drink spots. Here's a final tip from us. For the very best views of Adelaide, head out to the Mount Lofty Lookout, which is on the way to the Adelaide Hills. It's about a 40 minute drive from downtown Adelaide, and it's well worth it for the astonishing views of the central business district and the ocean beyond. And that is how we spent four days in Adelaide. Next time on the Doms Down Under, That is the sunset hitting the roof. Oh my god! Oh bloody hell! Oh yes! Well that escalated quickly didn't it? Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.